We got seventh up flex zone two. All right, we're going in here with Kip versus uh, GP. And I have actually never seen Kip play. And these guys, uh, you know, didn't even tell us they were playing, so that's why we're late. Our bad. Uh, that's an easy kill right there. I'm a big fan of Lucas. I think he's a super cool character. He is. He's, he's, he's definitely really solid. And he, I feel like he's probably not as broken as we all thought in the beginning. Yeah, for sure. You know? He's got some weaknesses. He uh, has. GP usually plays uh, uh, Fox, Ike, but right. he's been kind of messing around a lot. And Kip, with a lot of momentum here, could just turn it around after being at a deficit. Yeah, GP's spacing those bears, but it, like, you know Zero Suit wants that to yeah. kill at mid percents and high percents. <laughs> Luckily, her like bear is pretty safe, and so is his down air. Both her down air. Just have really good kill potential. So. <laughs> Going down that the might, wire. That's not quite it, but he gets him off stage, which is important. Um, Zero Suit, somewhat capable edge guarder, but. Definitely like has to do some weird stuff to get a, to get to, to edge guard you. The people say she has uh, trouble killing, um, and I think that's true to an extent. But uh, she just has to like sort of like like really uh, get get in your head and, and get the right get the right hit. And Kip might just pull this out right here. He's doing an excellent job on the edge guard, and yeah, that's it. There it is. Very nice. Alright, so uh, game one goes to Kip. Kip is, uh, I think, from Georgia originally? Georgia. Yeah, so. Yeah, Kip won game one. Uh, sort of uh, on the back end there, turned it around. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things, too, when you're like a player like as good as GP versus a player as good as Kip. You're playing a character you don't have as much experience versus. You might not have the clutch factor, right? Like with ZSS. Right. So. He doesn't play ZSS a lot, right? No, not in tournament. Uh, super, not. Either, I wouldn't say I've seen him play it at nationals before. So Maybe at locals. It's pretty interesting that he's sticking with him for games. Sticking with her for game two. Though. It is pools, and GP is a, a first seed, which is pretty good, you know. Uh, but Kip is also a really strong second seed. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Maybe he just doesn't like the matchup with his other characters. Yeah. Kip could definitely be a first seed. I feel like, but. Uh, he doesn't really um, travel to nationals as much, and wow, super, wow. super good KO there. A lot of neutral going on. Wow, that was that was like invisible shield pressure. Oh, oh he eats a ton of damage there. Oh, oh. getting caught by these PK thunders and missing his punishes too on it. Kip with all the momentum in the world right now. Yeah, he absolutely could just take another stock right here. Wouldn't be very hard for him to do that. He's and his edge guards have right now. There it is. His edge guards have been really, really good. This match isn't over though. GP can still make this comeback. He's having trouble spacing his bears for the KO. Like Again, that. another one miss. Missing a lot. He's doing a lot of whiffs. And credit to Kip, his, his DI has been pretty good. It's not Whoa. like... Yeah, there's an interesting stall. <laughs> it's not like fully invincible or anything, but uh, it, puts cool. a, it puts a thing out there. And he just, I don't know, didn't really accomplish a whole lot, but stalled out the clock a little bit. And why not when you're up two stocks? Right. Just slow down the momentum. Slow down the game. Wow, he likes doing it, and he gets kicked out of it finally. Like, uh, that's really definitely um, something that... Is he actually quite punishable? Like it's yeah, not like it super like invincible, like a Firefox stall or stall or whatever. Yeah. And now if GP can get like a zero to death right here. He's finally getting some momentum on his side. Yeah, he goes for fair there, but uh, maybe an up 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 B would have pulled him down. Oh, okay, that's nice. really big. That yes, and nice. he takes a stop. And GP smiling like <laughs> he's, like, he's yeah, like, dude, I'm a god, I guess. <laughs> I guess I know how to play Zero Suit. <laughs> it's 
not a position that GP wants to be in. Yeah. That'll be it. He loses his stock. Continually playing from behind. Kip definitely picked up a lot of momentum in uh, that first game where he came from behind. Oh, the blender. Oh, misses the grab. Somehow GP can convert a stock here. Which it looking oh, nice like he pick might. up there. With that up air to set up a juggle. Ooh, Doesn't quite get the down tilt on the edge guard. Oh, oh, unfortunate. Turned it the wrong way. Momentum oh, this could be it. Kip. Oh, oh. Good, and the nice use of the oh, tether. No. I haven't seen a tether used to keep somebody in stagger like that. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was very nice. Uh-oh. GP not like a super optimized punish there. I like the idea of going with the up air to uh, pop him up, but the yeah. DI was too good. I don't know what he could have done to, to make that work for him. Uh-oh. Definitely want to see a game three of this because this is a really good, really good match for pools, you know? Yeah, 100%. It's right down to the wire. Oh! oh goes for super, that's for super hard. I think that's it. Oh, wow. And GP with the, the, the sassiest eye roll ever. Yeah, it's like almost Malachi-ish. <laughs> um, anyhow, uh, I was pretty.